Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, we are going to be kicking off a new series here on the channel, which is building a Michaels planner from scratch. I'm really excited about this one, and I would love to hear your feedback in the comments section. So let's go ahead and jump right into what this episode is about, which is the basics of this setup, just talking about the planner in general. If you guys are familiar with my planning, I have been using a Michaels planner as my memory planner, a coil planner. And hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be the kickoff of a new series here on the channel, which is building a Michaels planner from scratch. Michaels has a variety of planners from bound options to coil as well as six ring planners. For the six ring planners, they have three sizes now. They have personal as well as A5 and this new one, which I'm going to be setting up, which they call the functional binder. I have heard some things about this being an A5 wide. I'm not too sure about that, but let's chat in the comments and you guys can give me your feedback there. So in this first episode, we're just going to be talking about the basics, how I'm incorporating it into my system and what I plan on using to set this up. So if you guys watched my recent video, videos I should say. I talked about the planners that I've used so far in 2020 and also my two planner system. My system is still going to be a two planner system. This planner is just going to be taking the place of this one. This is a lined notebook from Target that I turned into my planner. I still love it. I'm not trashing it or anything. It's just going to be on the shelf for a little bit. I've had this urge to set up a new planner and I was watching Goldmine and Coco Felicia I was watching her set up her planner and she was creating these lovely dashboards and I was like, I just, sometimes I just need something different, which is why I always say have your planner meet you where you are in your life. Your planner is meant to inspire you because if it inspires you, you're going to use it and when you use it, you'll be productive. That's the whole premise. So I'm excited to have purchased this and the timing could not have been more perfect because Michael's had it where you spent $25, you would get a $5 voucher. I did that twice, so I had a $10 voucher to spend, and the planner stuff was 30% off this week, and they had a 20% coupon on regular price stuff as well, so I lucked up in getting this at this time. So my total came out to, I got the planner as well as some filler paper here. I just got the regular dot grid and with it came this little example of how you could use it. I have a lot of examples on how to turn your planner blank pages into something out of nothing. So I'll have videos for you guys to check out in the description box for more inspiration and I'll be sharing more throughout this series. But I got the filler paper and then I got some scrapbook paper because I wanted to make some dividers. So we're going to get into all of that. But as far as the pricing of how much I spent after coupons and the voucher, I spent $34.99, which is the price of this planner. I would not pay $34.99 for this. I would wait. But the planner, as with the other ring options that Michaels has, it does have a snap closure. It also has, of course, the rings here and it has pockets. So you have a pocket here and then back here. And 
I disinfected this when I got it home because it was fingerprints all over it. The Michaels that I went to, a lot of the Michaels are just in a disarray right now between putting in fall stuff and just changing seasonal stuff, but then it's back to school. A lot of the school planners and stuff are gone. So I need to clean this up a little bit more, but it's cool for right now. And then in addition to the planner cover, it also came with these dividers. So these are monthly and they're tabbed. I'm going to be recycling these and turning them into my dashboards. Now, if I choose to turn them into dividers down the line, I can just use these from Dollar Tree. I love these. They're the Jot brand right on removable index tabs. They are pretty wide. And also with these, if I want to maximize it, I could cut it in half and just have a smaller one. So that's what I would do with tabs. But I thought about it after I had already purchased the scrapbook paper that I can just recycle these. So I'm excited to do that. So again, the pricing of this is $34.99. I would definitely wait for a coupon or some type of sale before purchasing. And then the filler paper, I got two packs. It's 60 pages in each pack. The measurement is 6.9 inches by 9.8 inches. And I'll have all the information in the description box for you guys to check out. But they had the two packs. I decided to go ahead and get them. They also had the weekly, which was vertical, hourly, as well as horizontal. I didn't feel the need to get that. I am using a coil um, planner from Michaels, which is a vertical neutral layout as my memory planner. I didn't feel the need to have two verticals. I just wanted to have a little more space and plan how I've been planning and just have a little more inspo inside of my planner. So this is literally just a larger version of what I was doing inside of here. That's it. So I picked that up and then as far as the scrapbook paper, they didn't have a huge selection, but I did go ahead and get these. I de-stashed a lot of my scrapbook paper, so your girl don't have none. And then I got these two and then I got the leopard print. So I may make one using this or layer this on top of the dividers that came inside of the planner. So that's an option. Either way, it's going to be laminated. I'm excited to make it. Then I also have, I also have some stuff to go in the pockets. When I was using my half letter, I didn't really put anything in the pockets. It was always empty, but I'm going to give it a try this time. And I have these journaling cards from Wiley Noted that I want to use. So... I'll have her shop link below, but this is the one, this is her thank you card actually. I love when your thank you message doubles as actual decor. And then this one, My Black is Beautiful, she had a collection that she had released in support of Black Lives Matter, and I picked that up, and that's where this is from. So that's going to be going in the front. And then this, the self-care card and this inhale, exhale one may go in the front as well, or I may put that on a dashboard. I'm not sure. And then other things I'm going to be using for the setup, I have my sticky notes from cloth and paper. This one is from Isis Ella Jewels. And then, aside from this cloth and paper stack, I also have my handy dandy ones from Dollar Tree. I love that. So, I love using sticky notes for my spreads. So, I'm going to be using a lot of sticky notes throughout here. And it's also cool to layer with these kinds of sticky notes. So that's that. And then I also have these from Cloth and Paper, these list pads that I'm going to be incorporating. And then as far as stickers, the difference between the deco that I'm adding inside of here versus my memory planner is that my memory planner gets a lot of the kits and a lot of the fluff. This is not a sophisticated planner. I don't have no type of theme going into setting this up, but I am going to be using my icon stickers and I store majority of those inside of these kinds of photo boxes. These are four by six and these shops here are made with Southern love, simply me Kish and a glittery life plants. I've shared them in recent hauls. And then I also have some in this 
sticker book here. This is a reusable sticker book from Capital Chic Designs that you can purchase at Michael's. And oddly enough, majority of the shops that are inside of here are black owned. So I'll be pulling some stickers from here, but I'm not gonna be doing like full out sticker spreads, just popping in icons here and there. The most deco that's gonna be going in here are going to be my dividers. So that is the basic setup of this planner what i plan on using it how i plan on using it what i plan on setting up and i'm excited to bring you guys along because i'm really excited to put this one together so that wraps it up for this video thank you guys so much for tuning in i would love to hear your feedback in the comment section so be sure to leave something there so we can chat. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have links to not only products featured, but related videos, and of course, the blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.